Hey guys, uh, welcome to KB Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use dictionary types in UI Path RPA. So, first of all, what is dictionary and why we need to use? So, uh, dictionary is nothing but a data type which holds key and value pairs. So, in your project, there comes a situation where we need to use a key and you want to get a corresponding value to it that case we can use this kind of data types so let's say like you are uh, you are connecting to some application where you have a user id user user id and to connect to that application you have some key okay so this naming format so that name and corresponding key value stored together in a one data type so that it will be really helpful when you are trying to get a uh, get and trying to manage those values so in that case where you have a situation of key and corresponding value pairs people usually use dictionaries so if you directly go and search in activities panel in ui path you don't get any dictionary related activity in the beginning you need to download one special package then only you will get dictionary related activities now See, these are the activities that are presented. Value exists, key exists, remove from dictionary, get from dictionary, clear dictionary, add to dictionary. Okay. So these are will be presented when I try to download my activities here. Just go to my manage package here and type go to the all packages and type something called activities. Activities. Then go to official here then you can see this one by microsoft microsoft activities extension so this is a corresponding package that we need to install in order to access the dictionary types in ua path okay so since i have this let me try to explore all the activities that are presented so dictionary examples so first one is like how do i create a dictionary kind of things that we are going to learn so here create variable let me use dict as a type variable type go there something like uh, browse for the type If you see this one, system collections generic dictionary t key t value. Okay, so t key is nothing but what is the type of key that you wanted. In a similar way, what is the type of value that you want to store? So based on this, we can define. So I want to store string values in my key, and I want to have integer values in my values. So I have given this. Now it's time to it's time to initialize this uh, dictionary. Okay, how do I do using assign activity? Yes, you just go here. This is really important because you will face an issue here if you don't initialize. So just use new dictionary. Ah, so what are the types that you're using? So for the key, I'm using string. So I am using int 32 okay and this one I am assigning to dict variable simple so I just save it now I have initialized my dictionary now it's time to use and explore all the activities here so I'll assign I will try to add two key and value pairs to the dictionary then we'll try to explore what we can do with that to dictionary if you just drag and drop this one it is asking for what is the type of your key my key type is string and the corresponding value is 32 and i'm going to save so i'll use dict so which is already there here dictionary type key so let me use as a value as one so in a similar way let me 
try to add one more key key is of string type values of 32 and here it is m so dict dictionary and the key would be let's say b and the value would be let's say 2 okay now i have added two values here okay now let's see how we can use key exist so if the key is already there in the dictionary it will return true if in if not it will return false so my key is a string type and value is of 32 into 32 type and dictionary key is uh, if you see key is i am using b so b is a key which is already there here so i should get proper values here so let's say rds if I try to print this RGS, I should get as true because the key is there. RGS dot two string. Now let me try to run this. Now you can see it's there. Now in key exist activity, I'll try to search for the key which is not there in my dictionary. In that case, I should get false. Now you can see I got false. So this is how the key exists activity works guys. So in a similar way, let me try to get for uh, value exist activity. Simply pull this one value exist t key t value t key of the t string type t values of into the t2 dictionary is dict value is I am trying to search for the value which is there already okay and result is rgs which i already created so value is already exist in dictionary so when i try to run this i should get it as true right oh there are some issues it seems okay one second When I try to run this, I should get as true because the values already exist there. Yes. Now, now I have closed everything here. Now let me try to give the value which is not available in the dictionary. So when try to run that I should get as false since the value is not there in the dictionary okay so what are the activities we have explored we have explored add to dictionary key exist value exist okay now let me try to use get from dictionary activity okay so get from dictionary activity we will try to return the value of the key okay so let's say now let me try to give the key as b and i should get value as 2 okay either you can give now let me try to the result will be like uh, rds1 now let me try to print that one let's see what will be the output here get from dictionary get from dictionary is my activity here okay, let me do one thing value i don't need this one i have added two values rgs is of what type rgs is of okay that means it's two okay you can see it is of into the t2 automatically it has taken because my value is in 32 type okay in 32 type value in the dictionary 
So I should get that here. Now you can see I got the corresponding value for the key. So this is how you can use get value from the dictionary guys. So simple. Next, remove from dictionary is an activity which will try to remove that key and value pair from the dictionary. Okay. So let me use dict. Let me use a uh, key as a and a result would be like rds. I don't need to define one more because I already have. Now if you see rds is of boolean type. So once I execute this one, what happens is what happens is like uh, that key and value pair will be automatically removed from the dictionary. Okay. So since I have the key and value pair a and one, so I'm trying to remove that key here. So let me first try to print the result whether that operation is happened to or not. Yes. Now if you try to run this, I should get true. Right now, in a similar way, what I can do, I'll try to see if that key is there or not. Key exists in a dictionary. So, key exists. I'm removing here and I'm trying to search for the same key. So, what should I get? I should get it as false. So, I'm trying to. So, Code will be like rds dot to string in a similar way uh, that key exist that means I'm trying with the a now so a key exist will that key exist no I should not get so I'm trying to display that Now if you see the key is removed, so once the key is removed, that key won't exist. That is what I tried to show you there. Okay. Then remove from the dictionary is completed. Value exists, all this completed. Only I have clear dictionaries there. Okay. So clear dictionary string in 32. It will try to directly clear the entire dictionary, guys. So let me use this one again here. So once that clear happened, what I am doing, I am trying to check whether the key is there or not. So I am removing this one. So in the beginning, what I am doing here is I am assigning a new dictionary. I am assigning two values here. Now I am trying to clear the dictionary. Then I am trying to see whether that diction once the clear is happened, whether the dictionary is having the key or not. Obviously, it should not have. So I am trying to identify that scenario here. So rs one dot dictionary. I should get it as false because I have already removed it. All right. Cool. Now these are the activities which are there. Now it's time to loop through the dictionary and see how we can loop through the keys and values here okay so to looping through the dictionary here what we can do we can use for each loop activity for each loop then uh, here this is my dictionary dot keys so keys is of string type so i'll take string here then let me try to display this values simple is that dictionary will allow us to loop to all the keys here. So item. That's it. Now let me try to run this. I should get A and B here. A, B. Okay. In a similar way, I can loop to all the values. Item.
term is of type int 32 in this case because my dictionary values are of 32 type int 32 type so now let me run this activity and show you what are the values are there 1 and 2 i should get 1 and 2 so these are the list of activities which we have guys so uh, i am going to implement one problem called uh, uh, printing the first character in a string which I already implemented using python so the same concept we are going to implement in ua path so whatever what my suggestion is like whatever the video that I am trying to show in python please try to watch it because I am going to implement the same concept in ua path so first I will release in python so if you watch you will have some sort of idea what we are going to do for the ua path so that allows you to have more uh, control over the tutorial that I am going to release. So I hope it's informative for you guys. If you have any doubt, let me know in a comment section and do watch all the tutorials in a playlist and do subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching.